enforcement. Hi, welcome back. I wanted to go in a little further about when you do owe the IRS and you get there's penalties and maybe excess taxes that you owe. Uh, what are some of the options or consequences of, of those uh, notices that you get? The, uh, we talked about late filing, late uh, payment. Those penalties normally will get paid off over, uh, over time. Often you can forget those penalties forgiven if you have reasonable cause. And one known th unknown thing to a lot of people is the IRS passed a rule called First Time Abatement, FTA. And this is a, a like a, a wild card you get to use every three years. If you have no penalties for the prior three years and you just screwed up and paid something late or filed late, they will uh, forgive that penalty, late filing penalty, um, for that one first time. And then the clock resets for three years. So this has been very helpful for people that, especially after the pandemic or other issues, you can make a case for a reasonable cause why you should have that penalty removed. And if you can't get it removed, you'll end up paying for it. And uh, there's, there's those, those are penalties. And then there's the civil penalties that I mentioned, um, not filing certain forms, um, have to do with foreign ownership of banks or uh, companies. And those civil penalties or, or accuracy related, you, you, you just overstate your income or understate your income more than 20%. And so all these taxes and penalties will stay with you. And, uh, and if you say, I don't have the money, I can't make payments, the IRS is fine, we'll wait you out. After 10 or 11 years, often they do fall off your record, but that's a long time. And some people who owe 50,000 or more, what the IRS, or even less, the IRS will put liens on property, liens on your bank account, try and get it through financial enforcement, or even uh, with today's global travel, they send a notice to Homeland Security and put a stop on your passport. You can't renew it, you can't use it, you're stuck, you can't travel. And if you're overseas, it's been difficult for some families, they can't get their spouse back because they, um, IRS has put a notice to Homeland Security. So, and then the last one is the criminal penalty. That's we talked about earlier, knowingly and willingly trying to um, evade taxes. Those penalties, those crimes um, end up in incarceration. So Chuck Berry, Wesley Snipes, uh, there's big, a lot of people we don't know who are trying to game the system, they'll end up doing time for their um, willful neglect. Those taxpayers who um, just want to go all the way and ignore and protest that they don't owe taxes or they don't have to file it, will end up getting um, tried and convicted and serve time. Uh, but very rarely do you go in jail just because you can't pay your taxes. Like I said earlier, they'll just do other means of liens and levies and revoke your passport and just make life difficult until you can. The Really the way out of it is you just enter into an agreement and you just say, look, I'll pay it out over five years, 60 months, sometimes 72 months. And when you're in those agreements, all collection efforts are suspended and the IRS is giving you a chance to work it out. And, and that's really the preferred method. Again, communicating, um, being on it back and forth, trying to give them the information will allow you to just get that uh, law enforcement or the, the IRS enforcement off you while you're in that um, stage of suspended collection while you're into an agreement. So anyways, those are a couple ideas, a couple of concepts to help you navigate the, um, the end result. But the key is file on time, try and get your taxes paid as you go along or before the deadline and these issues won't come up. All right, thanks for listening.